So I'm going to talk about um, a problem a lot of people have had with Google Web Designer in regard to choppy motion. So this is a, an example where you can see I've got a background image and this little boat. Um, both of them are scrolling rather jerkily across the screen and doesn't look at all nice. So inside Google Web Designer, um, if you hit the return key, it'll preview. It doesn't look quite as choppy, um, but it's obviously not right. Um, now, I've got two examples here of my, my, uh, my background to show you. The first way, and this is where you'll notice the really jerky motion actually inside the software is using the position and size values to do your uh, animation which if you've come from any sort of traditional animation background using after effects or flash or anything that's quite common you would use the those um, coordinates like x and y and <clears throat> a scale to, to move and that that's no problem uh, in HTML5, though, that's, you shouldn't do that. You should be using the translation, rotation, and scale. Um, why? I personally, I don't understand why the the two things are different there. But if you like me, if you didn't know about that sort of stuff, you can make that mistake, and um, it won't look very nice. So, if I get get rid of that one this example now should play smoothly in the in the software which it does and that is using <coughs> these values here so as I scrub across you can see the X values changing but the position and size values not changing the position stays the same now, turn that off turn that one off sorry and the jerky one back on and so when I select that you can see the values under the translation rotation scale nothing changes there and it's the value here that's changing. And when I use the correct version, you'll see that where it starts off, under their translation, the, the, the position is zero. So whatever, when you're setting up an animation, you place your object and you, you're happy with its starting point, and that will be its zero starting position. Um, it's just, for, for me, it's a little bit confusing, really, um, why you would want to do it like that. But anyway, that's one problem. It will, um, it will, it will play jerkily like that. Um, now, just using the translation, rotation, scale doesn't fix things. It will still look jerky. So, in the um, <clears throat> in the in the preview, you see the background there. It's still jerky. So, in the browser, in the in the software, it looks okay. But in the browser it's all jerky not very good so to fix that I discovered that under the translation rotation and scale you can see there the scale value is, is 1 which is like you know 100% that's its starting value and it ends being 1 
Now, if we change the scale just a little bit, just add a little bit, and then preview it. Now the background, as you can see now, is moving smooth. The boat is still jerking. That's because I've not changed the boat. So if we go on the boat, change those values again. Preview it again. Now, both objects are running smoothly. So that's just a little tip uh, to hopefully fix some of those problems. Uh, thanks very much.